Greetings, I'm Demonac, and it's Arena Time. So I managed to get three wins, no losses yet, probably because my deck is so ridiculously full of destroy a minion things that don't care about hit points. It's been working for me so far, but I do feel like there's a certain point in the game where my deck like clogs up on casting costs and stuff, where I can't do anything good for a bunch of turns. And, I mean, if I get things in the right order, maybe I have the Envenomed Weapon, one of the Envenomed Weapons at that stage, it'll work out okay. Maybe not. We're going to see. But, uh, yeah. Um, okay. And I'm having some kind of weird graphical bug, which is awesome, where it's decided that non-gold-like card borders don't exist now. They're all black, and there's some other stuff that's not being rendered to. I don't know what's happening, but we're just going to roll with it. With my crazy black deck of assassination, <laughs> apparently. It's just a bug, as far as I can tell. Um, we don't need you in the starting hand. You're pretty awesome. So, Glacial Shard is playable, so yep. Ooh, I might actually get to use his ability for once. Normally, he's just a 2-3. Um... I want to just. I think I may just be rushing my opponent here. I will probably regret it and get maelstromed, and it'll be terrible. This is a waste of this guy's power, but getting something out instead of not getting something out seems like a plus. I mean, here, it, his ability. It's okay to waste his ability if I'm getting him on turn one. Later in the game, I would probably want to save him for triggering a combo or you know freezing something. I did try and turn down the uh, game volume relative to my microphone here. After my recent microphone problems recovering, we'll see how that goes. So my opponent with the legendary card back is discovering an overload card. I'm sure this can't go wrong. One lightning storm would wreck my whole starting hand set up here. It, it's going to be terrible. But we're going to proceed with plan getting Maelstrom really hard, basically. It's going to suck. If these guys would live, then I could give plus one, plus one to one of the Murlocs, so I gotta try it, but the Maelstrom is just gonna... Uh, he can't Maelstrom right now because the mana is locked from... Oh, yes he can! Maelstrom! No, it's the Claws. Okay. Claws and not using them, interestingly enough. Um... So, I could make the, uh, the flower and sh use its shot to kill that guy. I think I'm better off giving plus one, plus one to a murloc while I still have murlocs alive. You know what? Because he's got the weapon, he can kill them anyway. The second hit point on them isn't going to make as much difference, unless he maelstroms, which he would have if he had it, I'm pretty sure. So I'm actually going to... I could just make a dagger and stab that guy. No, I'm going to I'm gonna give plus one, plus one to the smaller crappy murloc. Because then he can kill that guy and live. And I will just continue pounding my opponent with slight damage. This is a weird bug. My graphical card was asking for an update the other day and I didn't do it. But usually things don't change when you don't update. So, I have no idea. It's always a pain to ask if I update it, it'll like mess with all my wins. Oh no, I did, I did get an update fairly recently. I did do one. So that guy is easily killed by my crap guys. That's nice. I could make a dagger deadly poison it and do that. I don't think I'm going to. I'm going to just kill him. I'm going to continue sort of rushing. I'm going to make this. I'm going to save that pedal, obviously. It would be silly to waste it right now. Uh, I'm not going to waste that dagger either. I don't think that one damage is what I need. I can poison, I can deadly poison it, or if I might draw it in Venom. i to use that instead. So trying to get a spell damage to him so he could Maelstrom for two now, or what? No. Okay. I'm doing a lot of damage, but there is a lot of crazy control stuff in the environment now. From, uh, from the old gods to this... Eh! Free the lucky return. I gotta kill that thing. Um, Pyromancer would be weird. Like, I would lose this guy, and Pyromancer would get damaged. But it would kill all this stuff then. If I hit that, and then Pyromancer, this guy'd still have two hit points, which is not a lot. Or I could just 
peddler. I mean, I've, he's got nothing to reduce, but yeah, it, it seems a little cr crazy to go that far, but I could just get out a 5-6. I'm answer in the deadly poison. I saved the deadly poison as more of a surprise, I think. So yeah, we're gonna go. Here we go. Need something unusual. Five, six for five. Perfectly solid minion. Ow. That's a good sign. That means he's not doing an AoE. Not that it, not that my army is as AoE vulnerable anymore. Now it's a big spell like a hex or a, something I'm more worried about. Oh, what's up? It's a hex. Although that takes most of his turn, so it could be worse. But he's got to have a bunch of late game cards that he's saving up for, and that's going to be unfortunate. Saro strikes. I'm starting to get together all my unlimited killing power that I usually have with this deck. Here Let's just stab go. that. Do two damage. Uh, make a dagger. I don't think I'm going to poison it now. I might poison it next turn even if I don't need to. Just start doing the damage with that. I'm going to just play the Pyromancer. Try and continue the beatdown. I mean, if there's a big area spell, I'm not still not losing all that much. If there's not an area spell, then I'm better off having the guys out. Okay, so I could Shadow Strike that guy and then stab him, or Razor Leaf him even. I take the damage from stabbing, but it's not that bad. On the other hand... Oh, I can buff my other Murloc with him. So how much... If I do just damage to the face... Again, if I cast any spells, it's going to Pyromancer. So actually, I would lose this, but... Shadow Strike would kill them both. Okay. Let, let's do that. I'm going to attack with him after. Buff. Uh, I can't do any of this stuff now because it would kill my guys. Or at least it would kill my pyro. And it doesn't seem worth it. So I'm going to hang on to not do that extra 2 damage. But my opponent's going to do something big soon. This guy has charge but can't attack a hero with the charge. He can attack a hero afterwards. And so spirit. Okay, that sucks. I get to adapt my murlocs. That does not suck. That's the opposite of suck. Come on, poison, 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 poison. That is not what I wanted. Although if I kill that guy, he's going to come back. Because that's right into play. Oh, man. Uh, I'm really hoping for better choices than this. How am I going to get rid of him? Mostly not. If I cast any spells, it's going to kill my guys. I may have screwed myself. Not sure stealth until my next turn is the best. Uh, the living spores may not be the greatest on everything. So many options. I mean, guys are good. Shit. Oh, no, that's right. I didn't have lethal because of this. That's why I was uh, not thinking enough still. It was really unfortunate. That whole guy, just really unfortunate. Lotus Agents. If I cast Lotus Agents, I can't do this. Well, he's going to die from taking that out. That's not great. Let's see if I can Lotus Agent something better. I may regret if I can't find anything to kill him. 
Naturalized, if I had naturalized last turn, I would have won the game, but now it's not the same. Giving my opponent two cards may be bad. I could draw a bunch of cards. My opponent is low. I mean, Master of Evolutioning this guy is also pretty good. I wonder. He might not have enough attack to trade then. So this is two cards. They're going to be the same. It could be a bad card. Naturalized would get rid of that guy. Oh, man. I don't know what the right choice is. Uh, I think I'm going to go Master of Evolution and regret it. That's going to be my strategy. He turns into a six cost. That's not a big help. I don't know what I was hoping for. I was probably I should have just. I don't want to give him the two more cards though. I mean, he's already got more cards, but. He's probably digging for something. He's certainly been stalling for a long time to do this. I didn't have any of the right stuff to do that. I, I need my stuff to assassinate things. I only have seven cards in here that can destroy a minion regardless of hit points. You know. So you're going to do the trade. Leave me with less damage. That's going to be annoying. I need something to assassinate him. No, that is not it. This is insanity. So I'm going to have to waste a bunch of stuff to get rid of that guy. I'm going to do it anyway. I'm going to waste this and the razor pedal. Maybe killing his guy would have been smarter. I don't have a lot of direct damage in here, but I just need to get one more attack. God damn it. <clears throat> Where is all my stuff? The hell is going on? This is nuts. I can use that as a surprise for extra damage. And he's cheaper, so I can use him to trigger an assassin plant, whereas I can't with this guy. Well, actually, I can't. It takes my whole turn. God damn it! I have all these things. There are so many tools in here that could have won me this game easily. Like, I did need two ways to kill that guy, but if I could have just blown up one of the Earth Elemental's lives... This would have been fine. Oh, that he got the healing too. Okay, there's my Vile Spine Slayer, but this guy's not going to lose a hit point, so... Oh, man. That is terribly annoying. Yeah, because he doesn't lose the hit point, so stabbing him doesn't help. I could just die here. It would not take much for my opponent to kill me. Bloodlust would easily kill me. Uh, I think he just needs the act, the plus three rock biter to kill me. It's a bunch of guys. If I could get another... Oh no, if I get an assassin plant now, I won't have a card to trigger it with. So I will still lose. Man. Giant wasp is not what I needed. This is so bad. If this guy takes damage, I'm going to be screwed. Here we go. Oh, I'm screwed anyway. I just don't have it. That is so insane. There are 14 cards left in my deck. Six of them could have blown up that Earth, one of that Earth Elemental's lives, and I would have won the game. I had nothing. None of the critical element that is a quarter of my deck. This guy does not have a clue how lucky he was. Like, yeah, I got one of those seven cards by the end when it was too late. That same card earlier could have made the difference. Oh, that is really frustrating. Because I easily could have won that game by getting one of by getting that same one assassin plant any time earlier. Or one of the two other assassin plants, or two other actual assassinations, or the invented weapon. Any of those things at an earlier stage of the game. 
<sighs> he has no idea. I mean, his deck probably also has more success, but... That was really, really annoying. Uh, Corsair is pretty awesome, but with an early game, do I need that as much? Or should I save the hallucination for later? Corsair is really good, but I think I should go for more early gamey stuff. That's really, poison doesn't work as well with the. I want to keep that and the hallucination. I'm gonna try and get more. No, that's really dumb. Ah! Okay, we're gonna fish that. Even though I probably won't have a first turn play. No, I've got the coin, so I got I could play him if nothing if all else fails. That is not a good set of stuff I picked up. My hand did not improve from that mulligan. Uh glacial shard again. Uh, I guess we'll do that. Maybe kind of a waste of his power, but let me save my coin. I got two fives, so it'd be good to save a coin from one of those. And she can't just stab him. If she if she happens to not have a play... Yeah, if she's playing a dagger this turn, that prevents her from stabbing this guy, so it actually did do something. That would have been nice at some point last game, I'm just saying. We're going to play him without a Murloc to block this time. Because that freezing gave me a little bit of board control. Not much, but a little. Now I've got enough mana that I could make a dagger deadly poison and stab away whatever she... whatever he plays. It's a guy, right? I can't remember who's under that helmet. I thought it was a woman. But they, hmm. I don't know my World of Warcraft characters' yeah. names anymore. Talk about a nice suit. Yeah, that guy, I can just stab. It'll hurt, but I can stab him. Okay, that's, now, now we're getting silly. I don't need both inventive weapons right now, but okay. It's going to take a ton of damage to kill all this person's guys, but it could work out. Yeah, I, got to, I did not get these. I did not get, like, assassinate. And I didn't get anything partic that I wanted from the adapt. Now, the adapt, there are ten things. You only get three options out of the ten. There was a good chance I wasn't going to get stuff that I necessarily wanted. So I could buff this guy to a 3-4. And... Yeah, I don't know how exciting that is. Or I could coin oh, this oh, guy. He would be pretty good. This guy is going to take effort to kill him. It's annoying if he dies and I don't, don't have a target for this, but I think it's better still to coin out this dude. And, you know what, doing two damage to my opponent is not as useful. I think I'm going to stab this and finish it. I'm actually fine with that, because if something big comes out, I have enough mana to make a dagger and envenom it. I'm glad I didn't leave that Reaper alive and stuff. I don't know that I don't think I want to invent him and kill that guy. It would hurt a lot. I'd much rather kill him with this. Oh yeah, I can't. Alright, but if I kill the small guy with this guy, then my dagger will do enough damage. So yeah, I don't wanna I'm not gonna waste that. I was hoping to do this, but I gotta make a dagger, so. It's fine. Oh wait, if I kill him in that order, that's terrible. Ah, the plot thickens. Okay, well, this guy's going to take a beating then. That's not really how I should have planned to do this, but I'm going to take the beating on him. Not give my opponent a card for killing this guy, because that's the Here problem with the Master. Go. I'm going to do this. Cast Tonto here. Interestingly enough, this is unlike the other Tidehunter. This one summons the Taunt Ooze. It's obviously not a Murloc, but if it gets stabbed away, I would still have the 2 1 Murloc to buff. Hodge Slim, I know. But it's not the end of the world if I can't use this guy's buff power, because he's still a 2-3! He's fine! Okay. We're going to eviscerate him. Ow. It is too bad. He's kind of awesome. I will assassinate the Firefly. No. This guy's very easily killable. 
to buff this to a 3-2, it's just not that friggin' exciting. So I'm gonna do this anyway. Sorry, Murlocs. Not gonna work out for you. Well, that's an interesting choice. More Vile Spine Slayers is fine. I haven't assassinated two Envenoms in my hand, though, so I'm actually not as concerned about that. Hammer of Twilight is two swings for four damage, and then I get a 4-2 Elemental. I think we're going to take Tyrantus if the game goes long. I can, I can try and assassinate things to keep it long, and then kill with that guy, maybe. Um, these guys, I think I'm leaving them alive. I don't think it's worth my effort trading to kill them. I am going to do one damage to my Here opponent, though, because I, I foresee making a new dagger to Envenom. I don't want to Envenom a one-use dagger. I'm getting that. Now, I'm losing the option to do that as well, but I mean, I can't do the one damage first if I'm going to Envenom and kill something Brothers, in that turn. That's bad, and something worse is probably going to come out of it, but it's only four damage to kill him with Envenom. And then my opponent has to worry about the fact that I have Envenom, and then I'm going to actually assassinate whatever huge thing gets played, and then they're going to be like, well, this sucks. Gonna take five damage to kill my guy? You probably should. Although then if you're not killing a two one, that's kinda neat. Or are you leaving the five three alive? Because that's gonna be kinda painful for you, I would think. And the card left is gonna do something or is it no? File Spine Slayer? That's even better. Uh, and hang on to Envenoming for now, because this will give me more stuff in play to win with. So I'm just going to play him and slay that guy, knowing that I have just, like, a ridiculous amount of killing power still coming. Now I've got a board full of guys that can hurt my opponent more. Black card mode is weird, but okay. Do that, and then what? Uh, spell damage fan of knives, or... Oh, Primordial Greg! Hey, it's that guy. Okay. Um... I think I should Venom that one and hang on to the Assassinate. I have a fair amount of hit points. It only does four damage. Yeah, I'm not going to be able to kill it and play the Peddler anyway, so let's do that. This is also demoralizing. Not sure he's the top choice there, but we'll see. Volcanosaur? Don't tell me it's going to be a taunt Volcanosaur with a divine shield, which is usually what happens with Tyrannosaur when your opponent's low health. Hey, look, it's a taunt Tyrannosaur. Wow, this, this person got good choices. Because that's what you would want. But it would, doesn't always work. Okay, so anyhow. Um, I wish I could make a guy. I am going to... I have enough mana next turn to make a new envenomed weapon, so I'm going to waste an envenom on this guy. I am fine with that. Fewer hit points for my opponent, less stuff out there. I have pretty good options here. You're, she's like, he or she's like, what? Stupid caring about gender pronouns is kind of stupid. Since I don't Need know about my opponent remotely. Yeah, whatever. Now, do I have to worry about getting killed? Because if I cast Tyrantus, then I'll win the turn after, assuming I don't die. Nothing out there is a particular threat to my, like, winningness. Or, although, I could cast my own Peddler and assassinate... something. Hmm... I could assassinate that, do three damage. Then I'd have a bunch of guys out. It'd be hard for my opponent to stop it. 
I could also I could envenom and assassinate. Actually, then I only take three damage for killing that. And I assassinate. Yeah, okay, that's probably the best way. That sets me up pretty well for next turn. Here we go. And if I kill both guys, I don't have to worry too much about dying. She has to kill both damage sources, or be able, or put up a powerful taunt that I can't just kill with my Envenom Blade. So, yeah. Four to eleven damage. Oh, that's some healing. Probably gonna live through the turn then, that's kind of annoying. Oh, you have an assassinate too. That's nice. Now, I don't know if I want to stab that guy, it's kind of painful. I could put out the Taunt Patrol, yeah, as much as I want to play this guy, I'm at more risk of dying if I do that than if I play this and a big Taunt. So, we're gonna play this, and a big Taunt. And I am gonna save this, I don't want to take the 4 damage, just in case. Seems unlikely my opponent's gonna come up with something that big, but who knows. Yeah. I'm still frustrated about that last game. Guess I'd be really frustrated if I somehow lose this one. Oh, this is a cla this is an actual class card. I wasn't sure because the gold border. I guess this is a dru the druid legend or the no the hunter legend or wow, one of those. So it got cheaper when I played him. I didn't even think that. Okay. You had a lot of assassinating too. Wow, you had like all the assassinating just like I did. All the didn't make a new dagger for that? Interesting. Yeah, okay. Gotta kill that to not die. Uh, I don't think it's worth assassinating yet. Again, I don't really want to take the damage. I guess I'll take the chance. Assume my opponent can't do six damage. Oh, she can stab this and kill it, but that's fine because you would die. Here we go. Unless she plays Tyrantus, I'm probably going to assassinate whatever he or she does. So can you do plus five damage to me? Because that would be really annoying. But you got to be with one card as a rogue. Pretty hard. That might have been helpful earlier. Yeah. Trying to play a little cautious there. I wasn't able to... My caution didn't hurt me, but it didn't also... It also didn't help particularly well. I wasn't able to get through there. But I won anyway. Like, I wasn't able to get through as well as I thought. My opponent kept assassinating things. It's kind of annoying, as it turns out. But, we'll see how much more assassinating I can do of other people's stuff next time. Please click the legendary like button. And don't forget to subscribe to Demonac Games for more Hearthstone Arena and other gaming videos.